Hello and welcome to Technical Skills YouTube channel. This is Shafaqat Ali with another video of Android development. This is the third video of the Retrofit library. So in the last videos we have successfully loaded all the posts from the JSON APIs and also we have filtered how we can filter the comments according to specific post. So now in this video we will learn how we can use different techniques to filter all the posts and all the comments. So let me open the JSON placeholder. So here you can see we have slash posts slash one slash comments. So if I open in a new tab, so this is first comment format that we have learned how we can get all the comments according to specific post. So if I remove this slash post and slash one, it will load all the comments of all the posts. So here you can see we have all the posts. So suppose I want to filter any comments. So here we can use another technique. So here I can filter by using the question mark sign and here we can use any over ID. So let's say I select any here post ID. So I will put here post ID and here I can add equal sign and I can add my post. So let's say I type here one. You can see here it filter all the comments according to the post ID one. So this is the second method we can use this method. So first of all we will load all the posts. So let me open the post here. So if I type here post I will get all the post. Okay now here you can see we have all the posts. Let's say I want to filter the post. So here I will pass here a question mark sign and here we will use the ID. Let's say I type here user ID. You can add any other attribute. So let's say I type here user ID equal to 1. So it will get all the posts according to the user user ID one. So here you can see we have all the posts and user ID is equal to one. Let's say I type here any other attributes. So here I will type and sign and person sign and here I will type let's say any other ID. Let's say ID and here I will paste and here I will type one. Okay, now it will get all the post according to the user ID one and ID one. You can see here so we will filter we will use these methods so open my android studio and here we will create another method so here i will copy this method and here i will create the post i will add a s at the end because we have to create different method so now here i will add the query so how we can use the query i will type here at query and here we will add the query. So now we have to add here any value. So I will add inverted sign. Now we have to use any attributes. Let's say I type here user ID. And here I will type here like this. And we have to type here int because it's in integer variable. So here we have to put any values. So let's say I type here user ID. Okay. Now we will use this method instead of this one. So go to main activity. And here we have loaded all the post. So now we have to use second method. So here I will call second method. So here I will type get post. Now here we need to pass any user ID. So let's say I type here one. So for now here you can see we have different post. So let's say I run the application and let's see how many post will appear on this recycler view. Okay, now here you can see we have user ID one. You can see here we have different posts. So if I remove this part and load all the post, you can see here we have different post. So let me open Android Studio. You can see here we have same post. Okay, so now we will learn how we can use more than one queries. Previous queries like this. So it will load one post. So we have to use two queries. So I will open Android Studio and Service API. So now here we have to add another query. So here I will paste like this. Now we have to use different attributes. So I will copy the attributes. Let's say I have ID. Make sure you have same spelling. Otherwise it will not work. And here we have to type attribute ID. And here we have to put the inverter, uh, sorry, comma. So now we have to go to main activity and here we need to add the second parameter. So here I will type again one. Okay, now I will run the application and let's see how many posts will appear on the recycler view. Okay, now here you can see we have only one post that appear on the recycler view. So it's giving us same result. Okay, 
So now we will learn how we can use hash map to filter the data. It's mean we have not need to add one by one parameter. So we have to open the service API and here we will add another method and we will paste at the bottom and this time I will use any double S. Okay, now we have to differentiate the methods. So now we have to create to see the hash map. So here I will type the query map and here we have to type the map and this map will be key value pair so here we have to pass this two time string so i will type here two type string and then we have to type the variable name so now from main activity we will add the map so here we need to create the map so here i will create the map you can also create the hash map doesn't matter so here we will create the map equal to new hash map and here we need to pass hash sorry map dot put and first parameter that we have to pass here variable so let's say i type here user id so let me copy the user id and here we will put the values and i will put one here and i will duplicate this line and we need to pass here id third method called third method so here we have post and then we have to type here map okay now run the application it will give us the same results okay now here you can see we have one post so it's giving us same result so in this way we can use different variable to organize the data or we can filter the data you can also sort the data and use different techniques to filter the data this process is also used for the comments you can also use for that if you have any question any problem you can ask me in the comment section please like my video share my video and subscribe my channel see you next video take care